All right, so I just uh, went to the Goodwill again, and as luck would have it, I came across another little black and white five-inch radio CRT TV. Uh, this one actually also has the AM FM radio, like the eBay one we looked at the other day. Uh, unlike the this one, the awesome Zenith that uh, I found at the other Goodwill. Um, I made a video about a few weeks ago. So this one came in the entire box and this is the first time I will be opening it right here with you now. So right away we've got the Kobe owner's manual. Um, I did look at the box, this model CX TV6. I don't know for certain, but the 6 might stand for 2006 uh, because this was from 2006. So this is one of the last of these little CRT TVs that you could have possibly bought new. So I'm hoping it's in pretty good condition, to be honest. Although, uh, as you saw in the box, it's got very mid-2000 styling. The Zenith looks a lot nicer. But as promised on the package, wow. Um, I didn't expect the $10 value headphones. Let's uh, show you guys that. Right there. A $10 retail value. Wow, cute little thing. I wasn't actually sure. I've never had one with this case style. Um, so I wasn't exactly sure what it would look like, but it's squat and that's kind of cool. I think there might be batteries in it because it... It has some heft to it for its size. And of course, everybody likes to see that. It's got already RCA video in. So, one thing I immediately notice is missing is the power adapter. Let's see. What do we need? Okay, uh, well, I just realized there's a switch that says charge, so this may actually have a battery in it. It did say on the box there's a battery compartment. But the mystery I'm dealing with right now is that I can't turn the volume all the way down, which is really, really annoying. Okay. Okay. Unmute. Um, turns out I was just turning it the wrong way. It's an unintuitive direction to lower the volume. Um, cool. Uh, maybe some of that showed up. I'm on UHF right now, and there we go. There's some interesting static. I know one of these channels is now dedicated to 4G cell networks. 
and so sometimes you can find some pretty cool pretty cool noise well i guess it's no longer noise but you can find some pretty cool um gosh raw signals from newer applications so oh, there we go if i can get that on camera that's a fun one just some lines <laughs> very very analog uh cool well now i think there's nothing left to do on this little set um i mean i could take it apart but i don't really feel like doing that in this video so let's Turn it off, check out the battery compartment and all that stuff, and then, yeah, don't forget, it's got a cool little antenna. Most of these things do. I guess they all do. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I guess, get it hooked up to some kind of a video source. Oh, look at that surprise. There is the wall adapter. Well, that explains the uh, excessive weight. Still, still a bit chunky. There's a kickstand that we missed. It'll be fun. got a second like lock forward position apparently again apologies for the flickering I'll uh, edit in a warning for this Hey, look at that. Uh, mute the uh, actual DVD player. And I zoom it in. Here we go. Let's check this out. There we go. I'm going to have to uh, maybe check that out later. See, hopefully it's just, you know, a loose connection or a crappy um a crappy uh resistor or potentiometer dial whatever this is over here but um and the picture is good so that's quite unfortunate that we don't have consistent audio at the moment so that's something to check out but give you guys a quick listen unless i get copyrighted then i'll have to delete the segment then, black storks. Behind the herds, two bucks. After weeks of hardship, the trek is coming to an end. Oh man, I was just about done filming and I realized that my dead camera ruined the flow of my plan for this video. Uh, I meant to open it up with the other awesome item I got at. Uh, at Goodwill today. Cups about nothing. 